BSO. Oh, fuck. Of course, man. So I'm going to be honest about SWAT, right? And how it's been led before. It In the past, SWAT has been overdone to the point where it's like... They actually believe, like, they're Navy SEALs. Actual fucking, like... You need un um, amazing tactics, like... We're actually, like, you know, yes, trying to nice. breach a, and fucking... There's an RC truck on my traffic stop. Westbound Let me mute my radio real quick. Or two. Let me lower it. Right, let me restart. What I'm trying to say is... Before, I feel like the way SWAT was led... Was they actually led it like IRL SWAT, where it was too fucking tedious. It was too much to, like, do... You know those they they overthought it in too many plans and too out. many like tactics to the point where so what do we do? one in an actual situation all they did was just bomb rush the fucking front door and die. Two used every resource possible that has SWAT gear. Like every resource that SWAT had, they'd use it in order to win a gunfight without real like training. But the way they train would be so overcomplicated that in an actual GTA situation, it'd be so impractical and it wouldn't even work. Like in real life, sure, you could have three people lined up and be like, all right, post seven ready, rear set, breach, breach, breach. We're going to be watching left, right, left, right. Yeah, hold right. In reality, you're just getting fucked. Right? And that's why SWAT was never really like... I just don't feel like SWAT is really applicable to the GTA world. As is I roll, obviously, right? Because there's just too many different variables. People aren't afraid to die, which they shouldn't be because it's GTA. In real life, people are scared to die, so they'll listen more. But if you do all of that shit and you're way too tactical and you overthink it and you actually feel like you're in the Navy SEALs and you lead it like that, it doesn't work in GTA. It can't. So my idea is get rid of... Well, I was talking to Coil a bit about it uh, yesterday. But SWAT shouldn't be deploy SWAT, 12 go, other cops leave because it gets too messy. You know what I'm saying? It gets way too messy. And then you have situations where there's SWAT and there's also normal officers. And then you have SWAT and normal officers using SWAT gear. And you don't know what the fuck's going on. SWAT certified, not certified, not this and a third. And it just makes everything so overcomplicated because in the heat of the moment, there's so much going on. You can't really control it. So SWAT just doesn't work as practically as it should. So my idea is get rid of SWAT and have a tactical cert. Okay? And to have that tactical cert, you need to be able to read situations good. You need to be able to... I'm now hear me out fully on what I'm saying, time. right? Because how I see it, every gunfight, every situation, every vault, every shootout, every like intense situation has to be treated differently i don't think you can have set sops for every situation because then it either you're over prepared and you bum rush it and it's fucking boring or you just die super quick so for example if i had the tactical cert or which i will have it hopefully if this goes through the tactical cert will pretty much allow you to deploy not even deploy but it will allow you to one set how many officers you want on a scene so two Choose the kind of weapon choices you want. If you think class 2 should be applied, bring class 2s. Three, the, the SWAT equipment you want to bring, or not even SWAT equipment, the equipment you want to bring during a shootout. So you can be like, okay, they're using grapple guns, we'll just use grapple guns. If they're using... If it's a massive shootout, I want five cops with syringes, everyone else normal. If I want grapple guns plus syringes, you do that. If you want Dragonovs, two Dragonovs max, two officers can you you allow two people to get it. If no Dragonovs are involved, then no Dragonovs. Basically, if you have this cert, you have control of what you want to do in that situation and what's best for that situation and that specific situation. So to be like in my in my head, to be tactically certain, you have to like have good balance, obviously. You still have to have the cops like obviously overpower criminals, right? But not to the point where you're abusing all resources and use everything under your belt to get the to secure the arrest. So not even matching, because I do think cops should have, you know, a little bit, tiny bit of like uh, 
upper hand to the point where it's also fun for the crims. And the, what this does is a normal shootout can still occur and the normal standards can happen. But say CG rob the vault and they, they want to do a vault plan. Instead of you getting fucked over by 50 cops and you're doing a holdout in the FIB building now and you want to use pistols only, the tactical circuit can be like, okay, I want 12 cops to stay on scene. We're going to get grapple guns. We're going to get some adrenaline. We're going to use class ones. We're going to push. However, if a class two is spotted, the tactical circuit can be like, okay, everyone get your class twos ready. Have it or unrack it from your glove box. We're going to go up the FIB building. I want 12 units, but we're going to have 12, but we're going to have syringes and grapples. And then you don't have to be sighted to use it. But yeah, you need to go to a certain person to use it. Does that make sense? So say they, they go to the... Say they go here. Right? And they do a massive shootout. Wait. No way someone's doing a shootout here. Remember that shoot, the castle where you do a shootout? Say you see yeah, there's a Dragonov. You can allow two people to get a Dragonov. You can allow a couple of people to get grapple guns. Instead of fully gearing up and doing that cringe shit where it's like, all right, outfits, add, outfits, use, boom, 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 which I think is good for raids and shit. But like, instead of like going, all right, everyone else break off. 12 people come to me. Everyone go back to Mishro PD. Everyone go boom. Everyone gear up and we sweat out, roll out, and then we just have every single item possible. You pretty much use the items that you need for that certain situation. And you pretty much dictate who can use it and how many you can have in that. Because at the end of the day, there's so many different scenarios you can have with shootouts and how intense they can be. And there's so many different ways a shootout can happen and the guns used and the shit like that. 